sure. Dex, uh, Dodger eats on stream all the time, so I'm like, if she can do it and have like million, uh, like a hundred thousand subs, she, I can do it, Fair. and have no subs. <laughs> <laughs> Same though. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, she I, literally I, I, farted I, I... on stream and got 500 subs. <laughs> <laughs> is that all I have to do? All I have to do is fart on stream and people sub no, me. No, no, no. You don't understand. Farting for her is on brand. She always talks about it. <laughs> no, I know. I remember when I used to watch her. Only also, reason. she's pregnant now. Oh, cool! Congrats, Dodger. Yeah, she, her and her, her, her British husband are having a baby. Excellent. She hid it for five months. <laughs> well, yeah. Generally, the first five months you're able to hide your pregnancy. Um, hi guys, welcome to the stream of Doki Doki Literature Club. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I'm glad. Hello. I'm glad that we introduced ourselves with you know, talking about Dodger farting on stream and me threatening to fart on stream for subs. <laughs> I mean, she got 500 subs in like 10 minutes because she tooted. Because she tooted. And then she cried. Because she's hormonal and pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, but yeah, we're continuing Doki Doki Literature Club. With me today is Kime from 4 Pixels. Yes, hello. And Shades de Ninja or Shades95. Konnichiwa, Dice. <laughs> aka super fucking weeb who yeah. by the way after the last time we played this suddenly i just like my brain started thinking in japanese again i turned into some fucking weeb or something thanks for that no apologies you're welcome no regrets <laughs> yeah Hi, hey, Konetsu. Konetsu. she's actually here the weeb queen mochi 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 mosh uh, hint, you can s use the skip button to fast forward through the text you've already read. That's I okay. we just saved right where we ended, yeah. so I think we're good. Yeah. So let's just get back into this, because if we waste too much time, then we're gonna lose the game. Um, mm -hmm. who the hell was Monica? I Hi, Jezreel. Monica. Okay. So Kime was okay. Monica, and who else? Sundere-chan. Sundere-chan. Gotcha. <laughs> and... <laughs> Shades was the other two. That was Stugoi Kawaii Chan and uh, Shai Chan. Yes. <laughs> um, also, and, and you are Steve. Also, and I am Monica Steve. Just, like, hi again, and I'm just like, we never changed days, did we? Ah, uh, no, no, we didn't. Yeah, we just went to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> we just fell asleep <laughs> in the class, like right before we read our poems. <laughs> Also, damn it, Konetsu. I can read a part of that, but I was always shit at reading kanji. I don't know what it says. Anyway, let's play the game. I do I do see the word deska, so I know it's a question. And I know chan. Yeah, same. Kimi no nawa. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, Monica. Monica, go. Hey again, Steve. Wait, we did change days. My bad. I'm stupid. <laughs> Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. I mean, Kunatsu, would you prefer Protag Kun? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Coco. Can I kill all you Tomodachi chans? <laughs> you newbies. <laughs> uh oh, he can't hear shit. Oh no. Oh, it's because your volume was off. Good job, Preston. You fucking weeb. You bubba babaka. <laughs> I will never stop. Hold on, I'm munching a broccoli because I need food. <laughs> Ooh, high in vitamin K. Yes. Mm -hmm. Delicious. It's broccoli, um, mixed with butter, salt, pepper, and lemon. It's actually really good. I should eat something like that. It's really fucking healthy for you. Also, it's because I'm not allowed to have carbs. <laughs> I, I, haven't, yeah, yeah, I haven't I mean, eaten a vegetable in months. You should probably eat vegetables. Just get some frozen ones. Yeah, Kime. Just get some frozen I've... runs, rip open the bag, and chomp on it. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I've only, had a, I've only seen glimpses of your eating habits. <laughs> the only glimpse I've seen is it consists almost solely of ramen. <laughs> I saw the picture of the ramen tower. <laughs> uh, well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Konatsu says Uber Eats. <laughs> Uber Eats I mean, my life. It's legit. 
Thanks for keeping your promise, Steve. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. It's one club. Calm your... <laughs> calm, calm everything. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Chat Make this is, boy cultured. Chat is fucking dragging, Kime. <laughs> Wasn't is there that a time a... where you got pizza every day, Kime? Says Jezreel. <laughs> That's just because I got free like pizza a week? at work. <laughs> because I got my my boss like when he's he's hungry, he orders pizza, and I'm, <laughs> I work there, so he offers me pizza, and I'm like, sure, I'm not gonna say no to free pizza. All right. I mean, if you say no to free food, there's something wrong with you. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Taco Bell is on DoorDash apparently. Well, all right then. Tatsuki. So, Sundere oh, Chen. <laughs> <laughs> like, he deserves any slack. A girl. <laughs> so, Yuri told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. And now Just I'm drag getting us. dragged. <laughs> <laughs> Straight onto the bus. It's like Buttons is already here. <laughs> Soon. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Calm your non-existent tits. This is a high school club. <laughs> <laughs> no, if if I wanted Brad to be here, I'd do a war call out. He's not here yet. Cause, he will be. Because Coco's already here, so I don't need to shout war for her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the greatest way to make Coco disappear, is talk about Vor. <laughs> now for a magic trick. <laughs> for my greatest trick though. yet. <laughs> Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and Manga. <laughs> Mangana. <laughs> Manga is literature! Not according to the canon. <laughs> Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Come on, Kawaii Chan. <laughs> oh. Don't worry, guys! Steve always gives his best as long as he's having fun! He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. He'd make a perfect house husband. To be fair, it's just because I'm trying to get a glimpse of your panties. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> oh, come I on. I never understood that. This never. is a male anime pro tag. Of course he's trying to get a glimpse of their panties. I never understood that. They're just underwear. <laughs> I don't know. How no. dependable. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Sayori, that's because your room is so messy it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Very true. Clean your room. It's a fire hazard. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. God, I forgot the word for jealous. <laughs> <laughs> How come? You and Steve can become good friends, too. Uh, um... Sayori. Hmm? Uh, as usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. <laughs> oh, oh! Yuri even brought <laughs> you something today, you know. <laughs> he genuinely did forget his line. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I looked at the chat for like two seconds. <laughs> Wait. Sayori. Eh? Me? Eh? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> um, not really. Don't be shy! Preston, I don't know whose D I'm gonna try and squeeze yet. Because it's gonna be a group decision. <laughs> it's really nothing. What is it? Nani? Uh, no, Luke was here. <laughs> we here. didn't even need to do the four call out, damn! 
Uh, never mind! <laughs> so Yuri made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. I like that Yuri's slowly turning into Sayori there. <laughs> Whoops, I, I, I'm sorry. It's, it's a shyness. It happens all the time. It's okay, when I get shy, my voice gets higher! <laughs> uh, what do I do? Eh, I'm sorry, Yuri, I wasn't thinking! There's, the intonation's different, don't worry. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. It's fine. Be the anime prota you were meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> first of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. Ding. <laughs> It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? It's a knife. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's the best gift ever. God. <laughs> Sorry, what was that, Shades? <laughs> It's the that's the best gift ever. A knife. <laughs> a <laughs> knife right between your shoulder blades. I mean, what? Never mind. Not, not that kind of knife. <laughs> yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Unless you want it to be. Mm, raising mm. eyebrows. That's the line. <laughs> Wait, was it the line? No. <laughs> oh, thank God. Uh, well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. And inside the book, there's a knife. <laughs> and next to the knife, there's a note written, For you especially. <laughs> Gonna get you. I, I didn't want you to feel left out. What book is it, though? So it's I the Kama Sutra. That... <laughs> so, I, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's the Kama Sutra. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. It's the Kama Sutra! <laughs> That's not a short read, it's like 150 pages! It's all pictures! Oh, That's short. <laughs> also, that is short. Uh, you know, for, for like, experienced readers, sure, but not for a guy who only reads manga. But I mean, manga hub. Mm. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty Connected sure it's like two manga. To manga hub. Uh, never mind, I, I could be wrong, I could be wrong. And we could, you know, read bang. it together. <laughs> <laughs> Discuss it if you wanted. Oh, yo, if you want to talk about literary analysis, I'm your bro. <laughs> but guess who isn't your bro? Hi. <laughs> yeah, manga has like 190 to 200 pages. Uh, you're right. Uh... <laughs> I'm, I'll relent there. I'm not. I'm not a. Thanks, Weeb I'm Queen. not a manga expert. <laughs> Dragged. Th this is. How is this girl accidentally being so cute? Cause you're in an anime. She of even course. picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I wish this happened in real life. I enthusiastically take the book. Your sister's dying. <laughs> yeah, she's dying. <laughs> well, phew. Beus? Oh, yeah. She's alive. <laughs> oh, thank God. She lives! <laughs> she lives! We almost killed your sister with this game. The game goes in real life and kills your sister. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. So, fun fact, uh, one of my co-workers, I guess I could call her, uh, I was telling her about the forest, and that led to me talking, talking about Twitch, because Buttons, Moon, uh, Punch Kid, and I are going to be playing that on Thursday. And <laughs> I'm so glad Coco's ready to be the replacement sister. <laughs> I just like, and so I also told her about this game, because I'm like, yeah, tonight we're playing uh, Doki Doki Literature Club, which is this really cute anime dating sim game that apparently has a weird twist to it. Um, and so I would love to think that this is the first night that she's tuning in to watch this. <laughs> and so she gets to hear shade. We don't get there till about the third or fourth hour, so. Yeah, but it's just, I'm thinking she. She's gonna ask me tomorrow, how come you have the guy voicing the girl characters? <laughs> because I'm kawaii as fuck, okay? <laughs> We're like, kawaii. <laughs> I am the best female are... voice actor. 
<laughs> you are the kawaiiest. Kawaiiest, yes. <laughs> yes sir! So scary. Um, now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Thank you, Konetsu. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Kawhi. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet, not reading anything at all. She's looking for a knife. Is that a metaphor? <laughs> is she in the closet? Whoa! <laughs> Maybe. You never know. Uh, anime noises. <laughs> <laughs> I hear Natsuki utter an exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. The lack of, you know, lesbians. <laughs> I approach her in case she needs a hand. With that dick. I mean, what? <laughs> no! Not yet. <laughs> you looking for something in there? Like your sexuality? I wouldn't know, I'm straight, so... <laughs> Freaking Monica. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is just gonna mess it up? Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. To be fair, I have a large <clears throat> book collection, and about like a dozen of the books are in my basement. And then, like, a dozen of them are on my shelf, and then another dozen are in a book, are in a box next to my shelf. I thought you were gonna say they were in a book. It's just like, wow, that's Thanks. amazing. <laughs> I have a lot of books. <laughs> books and My parents books. threatened to get me an ebook once, and I'm like, no, I need pages. <laughs> same, though. I try to read ebooks, and it just doesn't work. It's not the same. Manga. Hi, new Monica. New Hello. Monica, hi. You read manga, right? Ah, uh, sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. That's the truth. You already know where she stands. <laughs> mm -hmm. First right of all, you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we are both going for that joke. Damn. Um, secondly, we've already established that she's a fucking weeb. I mean, Monica fucking dragged her, so, you know. <laughs> How did you know, anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. Rude! <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? She can see the panels uh -huh. on your face. <laughs> uh, I, I see... There's a lone volume of manga amidst a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. I suddenly adapted some weird accent. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is! Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to a box of manga and slips a volume right into the middle of the rest. The tooth. Ha! Much better! I wonder if her manga collection is the type where if you have it all in order, it makes a picture. That'd be cool. Coco. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, that's a very respectable height. I agree. <laughs> most, of my, most of my friends are shorter than me, so uh, I will say it's respectable. It's just hilarious because Coco's, what, 4 foot 11? Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, Coco. You're as tall as my wife. It's fine. It just means that if we should ever meet and I hug you, you're just going to get a face full of titty. You're as, you're as tall as my baby sister, so it's fine. <laughs> as my baby sister! <laughs> Wait, she might be five even. Never mind. Uh, okay. Natsuki, go for it. <laughs> Santa Bug said with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. True. <laughs> Sorry, I had to hit on Coco. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> I know that feel. 
I get a closer look at the box she's admiring. Parfait Girls? Is that an actual manga? It's a series I've never heard of in my life. And that also answers your question. <laughs> that probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. It sounds like a niche okay. one. But it, so here's the thing is it can't be out of my demographic because I'll read almost anything that isn't popular. Um, sorry, I'm not a fan of Sword Art Online or Naruto or Bleach or Inuyasha. That's fair. It's honestly fair. I don't really have the money, time, or energy to invest in 200 volumes. Thank you. Uh, okay, it's a fake. It's it's fake. It's a fake manga. <laughs> um, and also, if it were simply terrible, I would have heard of it. <laughs> Konetsu Sao is okay. It's moderate. Konetsu, to be fair, my introduction to SAO was literally watching the anime on Netflix. Uh, thank you, Moon. Thank you. And also, it hi, is. Moon. Also, they and, don't like, treat their women yeah. characters very well. And like They're there for a season, and then they're gone. It's a really great premise, and I really like how they started it. <laughs> I'm not gonna do here! Okay, I'm done. Yep. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, it's a really good premise. I do like, like, the first five episodes of the anime. After that, I kinda had to, like, I got through the first arc, and I'm just like, all right, I'm just gonna, like, cut myself out stop here. Before Konetsu explodes. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut myself out here, because there's random tentacle rape in there, okay? Is so, there? Yeah, in the second arc of the first season, like, there's a okay, scene will, of tentacle will, rape. Let's just not talk about it, because I feel like Konetsu's gonna explode on us. Oh, yep, there, there she, she is. goes. Bye, Konetsu! <laughs> 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 okay, but literally, if you want Parfait Girls. Um, so, there we go. <laughs> if you're gonna judge, you can... You can go do it through the glass in that door. She points to the classroom door. H hey, I wasn't judging anything! I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Steve. Consider this a lesson straight from the literature club. Don't judge a book by its cover. And but, there's the uh, entire theme of this game. <laughs> yep. But to be fair, a, t a cover by definition is meant to be judged, so you're interested in the book. That's fair. Also, Jezreel, that actually sounds like a good idea. I may do that. May do that. Um. In fact, Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm gonna show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hands. <laughs> ah! I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire striking animated feminine poses. Ah, so it's a mm. Maho Shoujo. Sailor Moon Nako? Maho Shoujo. Ah. A.K.A. Magical Girl. Uh, I know I know that genre. Yeah. I love Though that genre. Though I haven't genre. watched much of it. Why do I have an at? Oh, that's why I have an at. Gotcha. Um... Stop the ads. It's exceedingly moe. Moe, moe. Moe, moe, cute! <laughs> Don't you just stand there? Uh... Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. Damn it! Wow! <laughs> wow! You're not no. supposed to out people like that, Natsuki! You have to do it gently, at their own pace. You have to let them do it themselves. <laughs> she then takes a seat against the wall beneath the windowsills. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. You're in an empty classroom with like 30 chairs. You're gonna what sit the on the fuck? fucking ground. Yep. <laughs> Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can read at the same time like that. Oh my god, that's fucking adorable! <laughs> eh, why is that? Uh, I guess it's easier to be close together like this. Wow! Things that don't happen in real life. <laughs> Hey, 
Kime, I'm gonna need a shocked noise from you. An offended noise. <laughs> don't, don't you say that? You'll make me feel weird about it. <laughs> Natsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me, because a whole inch is gonna make a difference. Sorry. Of course. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her, either. It's not the length that's how you use it. God damn it! <laughs> not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. She is cute. <clears throat> anyway, I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Fake fan! Fake <laughs> weeb! <laughs> Maybe sometimes after I already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh... I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. It looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Like 80% of anime? A typical mm -hmm. slice of life affair. I kind of grew out of those since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. Is this Cody? <laughs> Except he got back into slice of life anime. That's the weird part. I go into phases of slice of life. <laughs> so, what should I expect from this? Is there going to be a plot? <laughs> wow. Well, plot honestly, or plot? <laughs> you think I would enjoy something that didn't have a plot? I mean... Well, I guess I know what you're saying. A lot of the beginning is about simple things. Like, there's a really funny chapter where they're obsessed with a guy at the ice cream shop. But that just helps you get to know the characters. Character Yo, for building. Real. And besides, it's still entertaining. But later on, there's all kinds of drama. <laughs> <laughs> like when they get into all their backstories, and when some of the romance starts to happen. That's but really what makes it so good. God damn it, Shades. <laughs> <laughs> true question, though. There are so many touching parts. Mm. Phrasing. <laughs> it's important. <laughs> ah, is that so? It sounds like you really know what you're talking about. Maybe I underestimated you. Hey, hey, hey. I expect a five paragraph essay in my under my door in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait! What's that supposed to mean? Gotta go! <laughs> Bye! Uh, that's it, he gives me a little shove. I just meant that I haven't seen... I haven't yet seen you at your full power. <laughs> hmm, good save. That's a nice thing to say to someone. I haven't seen your full power. <laughs> this ah. is not even my final form. <laughs> 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 Buff Suki. Anyway, um... <laughs> ah, this chapter seems like it's about baking. This is just a guess, but it, is there a lot of baking in this manga? What makes you say that? <laughs> I mean, it's called... Uh, what's it called? Parfait Girls? I expect, <laughs> I expect confectionary at some point. Well... Natsuki pauses for a moment, as if she doesn't want to admit something. Yeah. If there's not at least one glaring thing you don't like about your favorite manga anime, you're not a real fan. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wait, Coco, <stop>. no! <laughs> stop smoking! Smoke weed every day. <laughs> <laughs> I know the herb is delicious, but you gotta stop. You can't be baked all the time. You should only be half-baked. You should only be half baked all the time. <laughs> also, parfait is not baked. Um, that is right. accurate. 
It doesn't. I was just curious. Since you enjoy baking too, right? That's... <laughs> oh no. Coco's Coco just like, no. hold my beer. <laughs> Watch my me weed. smoke. Get more weed. Watch me smoke this entire bong in one go. <laughs> I mean, it's real hard to OD on that stuff. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is. Unfortunately, you just end up, you know, uh, craving cocktail wieners with garlic salt and whipped cream in the middle of the night, or so I've heard. <laughs> I can taste colors! <laughs> I'm not a stoner, so I wouldn't know any of this. This is just Same. rumor. Same. Des despite living in Washington, I'm not a stoner. Uh, anyway, Natsuki. Natsuki. I already said that, Ryan. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just a coincidence. I just happened to get into baking around the same time I got this manga. Wow! Uh, that's perfectly normal. <laughs> like I will ever get into anything because it's in a manga. F liar! <laughs> I watched Food Wars and I wanted to learn how to cook. <laughs> Food Wars the anime? Yes. Uh, judging. <laughs> it's not the worst judging thing Judging you! Not the worst thing. Well, hopefully it's better than the manga. Um. Anyway. <laughs> I feel bad for anyone that is that impressionable. <laughs> You're dragging yourself. Definitely not a coincidence. Is someone talking right now? <laughs> I keep hearing a... And the last time... The last time I heard that was uh, when one of Moon's friends was playing Overwatch with us and actively smoking weed at the same time. <laughs> it increases his skill. I mean, he was very good at Overwatch, so I'm not gonna doubt that. <laughs> uh, I guess that explains Natsuki's interest in baking. Still, of all the hobbies to pick up from a manga, that's definitely one of the better ones. Not to mention she's really good at it, so who am I to judge? Oh god! Adorable. I want to pinch her cheeks. <laughs> we read on for a few more minutes. Oh, apparently it was some. Oh, it was someone else vaping. <laughs> I've finished a couple chapters at this point. Wow, you're fucking fast. Uh, are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. Even She's though so small. you're just watching me read. Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. Too true. Wow, Preston. <laughs> Wow. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Hmm? Hmm? You don't? Um... That's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. Oh no, she doesn't have friends! <laughs> what are friends? <laughs> What's a what friend? What are I've never used that word. <laughs> What do you mean? Don't you share manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Ah, sorry. Hmm. <laughs> like I could ever get my friends to read this. You don't know that if you don't try. They just think manga is for kids. I can even bring it up without them being all like... Eh, you still haven't grown out of that yet? Tell him to read Berserk, and then come back. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me want to punch them in the face. Ugh, I know those kind of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are also into it. Oh no, we're relating. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Moon, I did. <laughs> That's how much of a smoker I am. <laughs> I 
smoked one whole weed. <laughs> one weed, please. <laughs> <laughs> One drugs, please. Listen, I don't read fanfics about weed. I read fanfics about gay sex, okay? So, get out of here. I mean, to be fair, like, there was an increase in sales of a 420 stocking stuffers over the holidays. <laughs> God. I'm already kind of a loser. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> so, I guess I gravitated towards uh, the other losers over time. You know, That's like, the best kind of friendship. Like, you know, you Moon all have low and expectations Coco of each other already. and Brad and Kime and Shades Whoa. and Preston and Pneumatica. <laughs> These are all my loser friends, by the way. <laughs> <Hello. everyone. laughs> Pretty much everybody watching this. <laughs> if you're watching this right now, you're a loser. And a friend. <laughs> <laughs> so a loser and a friend exactly <laughs> a losing friend <laughs> nope you're not safe konetsu i've talked to you all of twice and <laughs> you're a loser and a friend <laughs> but it's probably harder for someone like you oh it is <laughs> <laughs> Phrasing! Optics! Hmm. I hit my leg and gave myself a Charlie horse. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? The whole part. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel like I feel like I can't even keep it in my room. I don't even know what my dad would do if he found this. Oh shit. <laughs> nah, Jezreel, you're in the chat, so you're a friend and a loser. <laughs> Guess called loser friends. We're friends? <laughs> At least it's safe here in the club room. Seth Monica was kind of a jerk about it. She's not teasing you because of your manga habit, she's teasing you because you're small. <laughs> She's gonna get beat with that kind of attitude. <laughs> uh, I just can't win, can I? Not with that attitude. Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? Yeah, I remember that you're Rebe. <laughs> I mean, here I am, reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Silence. More silence. <laughs> <laughs> so? <laughs> Jeez, that's enough. She's so cute. Too bad Are she's gonna... evil. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flip the page. Suddenly, Natsuki starts laughing. <laughs> I totally forgot that happens. Natsuki puts her fingers on one of the panels. Minoru is my favorite character. You always feel a little bad for her since she's so lucky. Hmm. Hmm. Too real. But, it gets... <laughs> but it gets especially bad when. Oh. Don't spoil. I shouldn't be talking about that yet. <laughs> Just finish this chapter. That's me whenever I have my friends read something. I'm like, read it already! <laughs> God! <laughs> read it! I need Not... someone to talk to it about! <laughs> <laughs> That's like me all the time with Moon, regardless of whether it's shows or reading. It's why, she, it's, I think that's part of the reason why she just doesn't care about the fact that I spoil things anymore. <laughs> I've only spoiled one thing for a friend, and then she got real mad at me. Rip. She didn't, she never let it go. And I'm like, I'm sorry. Rip. 
Uh, Natsuki's voice sparkles with excitement. It's a stark contrast to her usual bossy tone. But if she's not used to sharing her favorite manga with her friends, I can understand why. It was an accident, Preston. <laughs> Miscommunication. <laughs> I thought she was at a certain part, and then it turns out I was like two episodes ahead, and I said one detail. It was an accident. It was miscommunication. <laughs> not Preston, I don't give a fuck. I always clear it with the person first. I'm like, hold on, do you care about spoilers or not? Because if you care about spoilers, then I'm not going to tell you. But if you do the not give a shit is, about I spoilers, I knew she I'm wasn't, good. but I thought we were on the same page. <laughs> It's hard to express I... in words the feeling you get when connecting with someone like that. And being able to provide that to Natsuki, for whom it's a rare experience. The thought makes me smile a little to myself. Psst, my boy, give her a quick hug. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. <laughs> okay, everyone. Eh? Huh? Are you already with today's poems? <laughs> I still want to imagine that the random words you picked are just the words in order. Like, that's the poem. <laughs> oh, come on! Could your timing be any worse? We were about to smooch! Duh. Like in my Japanese animes. Like in my mangoes. In your mangoes? In <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, my tropical fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Monica did it on purpose. I just, I just need to make sure we have enough time. Liar! So you do look pretty cozy over there. <laughs> See? She knew. She was looking over and being like, I'm gonna ruin this. Right <laughs> she was waiting Thank for you, Coco, the right in our mongoose. <laughs> <laughs> eh? Uh, ah! Natsuki suddenly notices how close she's gotten to me. She hastily slides herself a good 12 inches away from me. A good 12 inches. Alright. Mm-hmm. Guess I'll, guess I'll stop here for now. I close the book and hand it towards Natsuki. You're just giving it back? Uh-oh. Don't fuck this up, bitch. Don't you want to know what happens? Uh, yeah, but... Monica just said... Don't be dumb. <laughs> you, Baka, I <laughs> want you to take it home. Just take it home with you. Eh? Is that really alright? I say that mostly because I really didn't plan on using my spare time to read this. To be fair, what else were you going to use it on? <laughs> Video games. Video games. Reading is better. <laughs> <laughs> Video games. <laughs> Video games. <laughs> I, can't say I can't say that I wouldn't do the same. <laughs> Thanks, Brad. Thanks. No! <laughs> Banned. Thanks for the input. Well, of course. It will take forever to finish if you didn't take it home. Just finish that one before tomorrow, so we can start the next one. Jesus! And if it gets spent, I'll kill you. See, that's why I like I hesitate to like he he give out books, cause like I wanted to read it, but also it's it's my property. Yeah. Same. I remember someone in high school literally lost one of my books. He paid me back, but I was still angry about it. By tomorrow? I only got part way through the f that. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I only got part way through the volume so far. Come on, how long do you take to read a manga? I might fall behind on some shows if I try to get through this. <laughs> but I suppose that's a necessary sacrifice in exchange for seeing Natsuki's enthusiastic face. Or am I more scared of what will happen if I don't finish it? <laughs> Alright then. I stand up. I return to where I put my stuff and carefully slip the book into my bag. Don't bend it! Don't bend it! Don't bend it! Bend and stab. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Oh, we remembered. Y yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. It's free verse! It's <laughs> cultural! <laughs> I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? <laughs> and now we pick. I can't wait! Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. 
Sayoris is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. Because she would. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. What's your stationery, Monica? <laughs> Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Who should I show my poem to first? Okay, I, I think this is how you get onto people's paths. Maybe. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I think it's with the poems, I'm not sure either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think it is with the poems, but like again, I'm like 80% sure on that. Uh, but... <laughs> I'm not sure who I'm leaning towards right now. I I, I lean way. towards uh either best friend or Monica. Mm. All right. So either Sayori or Monica. What about you, Kime? I don't really have any preference. Childhood I mean, I friend. I kind of I kind of know what happens, so I'll just let you two choose. Which path have you Definitely. seen already? Let's do something you haven't seen yet. Uh. <laughs> I can't really say. God. <laughs> Damn it! Okay, the Give choice doesn't matter. Uh, I, let's just go with childhood friend then. I feel like she's fun. Because I don't. Because I want to show it to Natsuki, but. <laughs> okay. You know what? I have a better solution to this. I have a better solution to this. D four. Go. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> what did went... you do? I went the wrong what place. Did you break? <laughs> it fell on my plate and then on the floor. Oh. Monica, it is. Very well. A little bit of Monica in my life. <laughs> I should start with Monica. Yesterday she seemed eager to read my poem, and I want her to know I'm putting an effort. Monica sent by. <laughs> Hi, Steve. Wait, wait, we're in the same class. Never mind. <laughs> Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Well, this is just a book fair. Something to get people interested in books. Maybe like a <laughs> reading athlon, something like that. Like a reading marathon. <laughs> there is one. There's one in New York for Moby Dick. Yeah, yeah there we go. That'll wow. work. <laughs> All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring them up. I'm much better off going with the flow until I'm more settled in. By BT Dubs, read Moby Dick. It's a good book. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> want to share your poem with me? Uh, it's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. This is the first step, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> she just fucking laughed. <laughs> you don't do that. Uh, don't worry, Steve. We're we're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm. I like it, Steve. Really? <laughs> it's a lot cuter than I expected. <laughs> oh, jeez. No, no. It kind of makes me think of something that Tsuki would write. And she's a good writer, too. So take that as a compliment. <laughs> if you say so. You've started the compliment sandwich. Now get to the dry meat. Tell <laughs> them what's wrong with this poem. <laughs> Tear him apart. Rip him to shreds! <laughs> That's actually how critiques work. Yep. You can't improve unless she tears you apart. By any chance, have you read anything by... Shell Silverstein? Got it in one. Eh? Maybe a long time ago. 
He's famous for telling all kinds of stories in just a few simple words. His poems can be funny, endearing, or even sad. And some ah. are only a few lines long. A few of his works are The Giving Tree, Where the Sidewalk Ends, A Light in the Attic, Falling Up. Yep. My childhood, basically. Mm-hmm. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, famous uh, poem writer from... Well, his stuff was popular in the 90s. Mm. Yeah. And it was a lot of kind of life lesson kind of poems. And all the artwork that went with it is kind of like... I don't know how to describe it other than odd. Yeah. I see. Just look them up. You'll see some awesome stuff. I will. They might even feel like they're written for kids, but if you think about them... They can express views of the world that will apply to anybody. And that's why we need to read more, ladies and gentlemen. I and see. those of unspecified genders. So you're saying that Natsuki is kind of like that? Sort of. Maybe she's not an expert. But you probably won't find much fear in her poems. They might be easy to write, but they're super challenging to get the meaning through. So true. So I can see why it will be your kind of poem to explore. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. <clears throat> <clears throat> It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased toward their own kinds of styles. But it always help you find what suits you the most. Flashbacks to creative writing class. <laughs> <laughs> so don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? May I read it? Don't worry, I'm not very good. I mean, I don't mind. <laughs> you sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. So true! <laughs> That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? So true. I see. Well, let's read it then. Go ahead, Shades. Hole, hole in Wall? Okay, that's a cool title. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the sparkle protrudes? Sparkle. A noisy neighbor. I, it's a it's, uh, little pixelated on my end. Okay. <clears throat> a noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know I what. I'll never... What? No, I wasn't home. I, sorry, yeah. it's, it's pixelated. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel. Blind. Like a film left cast in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas. Already searched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. Hmm. I, your line, your line's a little too long at some points. Uh, it's clearly free verse, but it's it's really good. Talking about the whole metaphorical uh, Im, uh, meaning of a, of a hole and how it's t two way road. I'm looking at my watch. <laughs> I'm sorry, I did this a lot. So, what do you think? Even though you already told us. <laughs> hmm. It's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm really not the right person to ask for feedback. You should go ask that asshole shade guy. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> he has no problem telling you everything you did wrong in your entire life. <laughs> it's not that you did wrong, it's that, like, 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 poems are also visually a thing. Like, I'm not gonna go into it. <laughs> It's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. It's the only style nowadays. Hmm. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, 
You're not a high enough friendship level to unlock that backstory. <laughs> Courage is not high. Courage needs to be level 5 in order to get this dialogue. <laughs> what? I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of a beef on you recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. I've become self-aware. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. Steve, do you know what that word means? Nope. <laughs> Ain't got no clue. I'm just a dumb gamer boy. Dark, 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 dark. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. That's what poetry is for. <laughs> Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Literally. Literally, it happened. <laughs> You're not good enough friends. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. So true. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. Ha! <laughs> Accurate. What are you using, a fountain pen? So, <clears throat> it's metaphorically. So, Shut up. <laughs> so you I know metaphor. <laughs> so just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Thanks for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> you had no choice. <laughs> Oh, right. we get to choose multiple people for the poem? Yes, apparently so. Yeah, yeah you can choose them all. It just changes the order in which you go. Cool. Alright, well then, Sayori next. Oh wait, that just means... No, that means Shades gets to read. <laughs> oh no. Don't worry, I won't use her voice for the poem. <laughs> this is a good poem, Steve. Are you sure it's your first time? <clears throat> Phrasing. <clears throat> of course. It's not that good. Am I the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time? <laughs> I guess you're right. Is poems a meta uh, uh, a thing? For uh, never mind. There's a fucking war going on in the chat between beignets and churros. I prefer churros personally, anyway. But that's why it impressed me. Honestly. All fried dough is good. It True. all goes in my mouth and it's sugary and good. To be fair, all food is good. It comes out the same way every time. I wasn't sure where you were going to go there. <laughs> we all shit, okay? <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously. We didn't. <laughs> <laughs> we just pick random words because it was fun. <laughs> I'm really happy that, that you just wrote one. It reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Uh, not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. That doesn't count. I dragged you here! <laughs> er, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that does mean I'll break my promise. See? I want churros. You know what I really like? I like funnel cake. Yo! Yo. Funnel cake is delicious! It is. I can't have Chipotle it. Chipotle sucks. Shut up, Preston. You're not part of this conversation. Get out! Voltage <laughs> twine! Bad person. We're talking baked goods. <laughs> we can all now unify against Preston Van Preston. How <laughs> 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 oh, dare you bring Chipotle? Nah, nah, he's like number one fan. <laughs> anyway, can we continue? Yeah. It's like I said before, Steve. 
Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know. Try and do things like this for other people. Hi, Suzuka. Hi, Suzuka. Hello. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. I'm just here to get some dank poon. Uh, um, then again... Uh, <laughs> they're full of pastries. Excellent! I am so excited for that. Um, I love pastries. Yummy. Yummy, yummy in my <laughs> tummy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah! <laughs> and I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? Oh, don't worry, Suzuka. I'm sure one of them will choke on my cream-filled donut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go murder myself now! <laughs> go back in time, kill yourself. <laughs> God damn! Uh, wait, I'm thinking like a chocolate eclair. Like, it's long, dark, and uh -huh. cookie cream. Mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my god. Um, you read this line, right? Yeah, I did. That'll be my way of thanking you. It, wait, what? What? You're gonna eat my donut? What? <laughs> We're gonna have to end this soon, I swear to god. Um... All right, all. Let's just, like, let's just get it so that we can see your poem and then end right there. I guess if you're okay with it. <sighs> all right, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. Okay, full screen it this time. I should be able to read better. I can't full screen it. No, I full screened it. Oh, okay. On my end. Also. Uh, Rebe, yummy Boston cream pies. Holy fuck, why? They are truly, they are good. They I'm are so lie. good. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> Fucking yikes. <clears throat> oh wow, this one fits her perfectly. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning. What it the makes fuck? me feel like you missed me. <laughs> Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed. Making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> it's a bit simple. You almost had some ABAB rhyme scheme, but uh, I think it's I think it's a pretty good pretty good start for an early poet. Sayori. <laughs> Thank you, Monica. This is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No. Just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. What? Not with that attitude. <laughs> You're just not trying hard enough. <laughs> I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean! Kidoi! <laughs> <laughs> I still tried my best! Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. It did. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. <laughs> I want breakfast. I made eggs and toast! Did you eat it? Did you put it in your mouth and run out the door? Even though you were late to school? Tikaku, tikaku. She did the thing! <laughs> it's bad to skip breakfast. Most important meal of the day. And I get all cranky! Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun! Monica's the best. Uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best 
I'm gonna write the most Sugoi poem ever. God damn it. <laughs> well, I guess I look forward to it. I guess. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, question. Should we end it here or should we try and get through one more? If you want one more, I'm okay with it. Yeah. Okay. So, Natsuki or Yuri? If we go with Natsuki, it'll be Kime reading. If we go with Yuri, it'll be Shades reading again. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with either. Me too. But I guess Natsuki. Shades just read. <gasps> it's Sunder-chan. Sunder-chan! <laughs> She's just going right into it! Okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, um... It's just mm. random words on a page. What the hell were you doing last night? Natsuki rereads my poem. Uh, never mind. I don't feel like, like giving you my opinion. Rude! That's not how it works. <laughs> eh? Then what's the point in sharing in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Wow, don't you sound a title. Uh... I am. <laughs> in fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? Oh, I'm so ready for her poems. That's what I had in mind when writing this. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. Uh... Well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. Wow, what an inadvertent co uh, uh, compliment. <laughs> you were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, Ha, ah, well, it's not that great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. <laughs> you are the problem with people <laughs> who are into poetry. You're so... <laughs> oh, I'm done. Keep going. <laughs> and you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. Mm -hmm. So, in other words, you're saying you liked it? <laughs> Not skis for Tork gets caught in her throat. Like other things. Uh, you're so... You just... You don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that. You don't have to go announcing it to the world that you're, you're all self-important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. No, I, can't, she doesn't. Totally right. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that she liked my poem. What? What about Fred? What? Why are we saying Fred? I don't know why we're saying Fred. <laughs> I don't Fred. understand why we're saying Fred. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? I'll show you mine if I, you show me yours. Perfect. Fine, I guess. She just slaps it to your chest. Only because Monica would make me if I don't. <clears throat> I'm so confused <clears throat> right now. Okay. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can see. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. You only got one word wrong, Shades. Yeah, yeah. I know. I, I couldn't go back. I, I, I would I would have lost the uh, tempo. <sighs> yeah. I'm not gonna lie, that was the worst one out of all of them. <laughs> I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. Liar! <laughs> what? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well... Because... <laughs> everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly! I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. Mm, I retract my previous statement. Maybe there's a. it's a good poem. It's actually I, I, a really deep poem. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I get it now. 
<laughs> yeah, shade. <laughs> regret just... your words. I don't regret them, it's just I said them too hastily. <laughs> yep, Brad has a point. It set a pattern, expectation, then at the end it interrupted the expectation to deliver the damn point. It's good. Thanks, Brad. Uh... So I decided to write about it. Uh, yeah, I understand. But she used fly twice. She mm -hmm. should have changed that line. No, she didn't, because that was the title. Still counts. It, it's title is part of the tempo. <sighs> but, the other nice be <laughs> but the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the word tape. Like you set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. Yumanka says, although it doesn't have a scheme, it actually follows the motifs of traditional haiku. That's what it means to be a pro. <laughs> okay, take two steps back. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? <laughs> yeah, guess not. Kohai! <laughs> I Go decided ahead, to humor her with that last comment. I really don't care about how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. So, Kaoi Kohai chan. <laughs> you know, Kawaii just so that we can fucking end it. <laughs> just one, one more, one more. <laughs> mm. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um... Oh! Sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Um... It's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Pulls out a bullhorn and just yells at you. <laughs> okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Er, uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Ouch! Ah, uh, so it's that bad. No! Did I just raise my voice? <laughs> did you just ask yourself that question? <laughs> yes, she did. Uh, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we haven't really gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um... It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter and they form fit the two together. The end result is both the style and expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing, even a simple Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Naskin could be a little biased, though. Biased? How? Um... Well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Ooh, we got dirt, girl. <laughs> Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if it's that's a rare opportunity for her. It might be. Which itself is kind of funny. 
After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ooh, Ghost Under the Light. Love that title. <clears throat> Tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Calm, breathing air of present but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Mm. I'm... I'm sorry I have such terrible handwriting. That's actually pretty decent handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. <laughs> but it took you a long time to read. Ah. Uh, well, I just don't read script very often. That's my problem in life. I always write script. Mm. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh. That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more... Mm. Something easy to, to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Spooky. I see dead people. God. <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Steve. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it, after all. Wow. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. It's an ethereal uh, tone. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of them. And soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn when you put it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. Gambate. I'm counting on you. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. Ah, uh, I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, ex for sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Why are you being passive-aggressive, girl? <laughs> Don't Nat do that. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is... cute. Mm. Wow. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? I think she did. It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I know that. It just... I just meant... the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? <laughs> oh, I don't oh, that's it. Why. <laughs> Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um. <laughs> well, I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm. If, if I, I was, was looking. Sorry. 
<laughs> Don't steal my role, Shades. Yeah. I apologize. <laughs> If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. If everyone liked your poems, you would never improve. So you really liked it. And Steve did, too. Steve liked everyone's poem. <laughs> Steve is not a good moniker for this. <laughs> he's, not, he's not a good gauge. <laughs> so based on that, I'd gladly give you some suggestions of my own. Ouch. First of all... Excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon. Unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Damn. <laughs> They're about to fight. And Steve liked my poem too, you know. It's about to go down. <laughs> uh... Yuri. Oh, whoops. Um, he even told me he was impressed by it. Why are they using him as a gauge? <laughs> because you're the protagonist. I Natsuki guess. suddenly stands up. Oh, shit. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress or remember, Yuri. How do you guys have a crush on him already? It's been a day. Anime. He has a crush eh. on all of them. <laughs> True. Eh? That's not what I... Uh... You're, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Standing up. <laughs> Maybe you're just jealous that Steve appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. <laughs> he did not say that. <laughs> <laughs> huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? Oh shit. <laughs> I... No... If I was full of myself... I would be deliberately going out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. SHIT! <laughs> <laughs> um... Thank god. Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? Oh shit. I I wasn't the one whose boost magically grew a size bigger as soon as Steve started showing up. <laughs> are, you are you accusing her of having a little help? <laughs> she may be stuffing. <laughs> Natsuki! Um, Natsuki. Um, oh, my god, I'm done! <laughs> um, Natsuki, that's a little. This, does... this doesn't Wait, involve Three? you. Three, two, one. This doesn't Did nothing involve... involve you? I don't like fighting, guys! Suddenly both girls turn towards me, as if they've just noticed <laughs> I was standing there. I should have left away, ten man. minutes ago! <laughs> you can't stop now! <laughs> Steve? She's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she Ladies and gentlemen, no herself. guy is worth all of this. <laughs> True. If she can get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point of making your poems all convoluted for no reason? I love the chat. They're just like, okay, we just, we just sit back with popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Ladies, please. <laughs> ladies, <laughs> ladies, you're both cute. <laughs> <laughs> True. The, the meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Have you explained that to her, Steve? Wait. There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and the meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not unnecessarily limiting yourself. It's also a waste. You're both wrong. <laughs> understand that, right, Steve? You are both wrong. Um... Three, well, two, well, one... Well... Dang it. It's too late. We, we, I just want to see more of the drama. <laughs> uh, how did I get dragged into this in the first place? 
It's not like I know anything about writing, but whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. So of course it's going to be... Help me! <laughs> Someone help! And with that, I mean... we're going to end it. Yeah, that's been a good place to end. <laughs> Jesus. Did anyone nice expect kind of like a, a drama to erupt right there? No. Oh, yes. I did because... Uh, that's the whole reason why we needed to swap voice actors. People were like, hey, you should probably swap voice actors because Sayori and Natsuki fight a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pulling a Coco, you guys! <laughs> hey, it'll make you guys come next week, right? Exactly, so tune in next week for more DDLC on Tuesday, starting at 7.30pm Pacific Standard Time, or 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, you can find Kime over at 4Pixels, uh, both yeah. on Twitch and YouTube, as well as on uh, Twitter, and I believe your handle on there is Caffeine Android as well, if you want to just follow her personal stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know if she cares too much about I people don't care. following her there. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, you, you can follow me if you want to see Animus. <laughs> yes. Animus. 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 Waifus. Let's see retweets. Mm-hmm. Imanes. <laughs> Occasional drawings. Yeah, there we go. And uh, Shades, we can find you obviously as Shades95 on Twitch, and I believe it's Shades the Ninja? Shades on... the Ninja yeah. on YouTube. And, and uh, Shade Shade Ninja 95 on Twitter. Yep. So go follow them, go check them out. I will be taking tomorrow off, but I will be back on Thursday playing some of the forest and trying to avoid getting eaten by cannibals with Pixel Moon, Buttons, and Punchu. But for now, we're going to leave this here, and we'll ruminate on who we're going to side with. <laughs> They're both wrong. <laughs> Accurate, though. But uh, have a good night. Bye-bye, all. Have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye.